Good afternoon, crafty friends. Sparkle here. So today we are using um, some freebies, a magical tea party freebies anniversary challenge for Lon, Line Dot Arrow. So on this there were teacups, birds, flowers, um, a set of nine um, very vintagey cups. And I um, took the birds and I shrunk them down and printed them off, as well as some spoons that were on um, one of the pages and the butterflies. So I just um, put these in my program and I, I duplicated them so that I had some to cut out and smaller, smaller images. And I'll show you what I came up with. These are some sweet little um, teacup doily clusters. This says, uh, today is a new day, and there's the teacup, a bird, and this one says, um, choose to be happy, and it has a teacup. I used one of my little um, sequins that I had embossed at one time. I used that for my little tea bag. And I got one of the little spoons here. And this one says, keep life simple. And this one I used a butterfly for my tea bag and one of the spoons. And um, yeah, so I thought they were cute. So we have some doilies. I have just some three inch ones. That's the, how this one is made. And then I still had some of these uh, four inch of ones that had a little pattern to them. So we can use some of those. I have some circles because I wanted a layer between the uh, doily and the teacup. And then I had some uh, trims, some uh, sequins, ribbon, and some curtain liner. So, um, yeah, so let's make a few of these. I need to cut out. Um, my teacup. So I have, um, I don't have, uh, the little, um, what do you call it? To put them on the teacup tray. Oh, saucer. I'm sorry. I don't have a saucer. So that's why I'm putting them on the doily. So we'll just cut a few of these out. It's uh, Monday here in the desert. Hope you all had a good weekend. Mine was uneventful, which was good. That meant no emergency rooms, no issues with hubby's breathing. Life was good. So I'm watching my neighbor's kittens while they're out of town. And she has an automatic feeder. And she told me what the timing was set for. And um, she's a little oriental gal. And honestly, I go over there and I don't know. I went over there two times now when she said that the feeder was going to be activated. But... I don't think nothing came out while I was there. So I don't know that they're eating. I'm going to have to just go over there and put some dry food on the in a bowl and see if they eat it cuz I'm I'm concerned. They're going to be gone for 2 weeks. I know they're getting water cuz there's a water fountain and that's running nicely. Uh, but I'm not sure about that feeder. I specifically texted her and asked her the times, but they're not jiving with the times when I go over there, so I don't know. Ugh. I don't want anything to happen to them on my watch, you know. But I'm trying. Gotta get these little scissors in here to get this out. So, 
Yeah, use your um, use your printables. Shrink them, things down if you need to to make things work. I don't know. I just looked at these and I said I want to make clusters. So I haven't made doily clusters in a while. So that's what we're doing, my friends. Okay, so we have that one, and then let's cut one of these on camera. You don't need all of this. So yeah, these are really sweet. Natalia does such a nice job. Don't you think? And yeah. I'm working on a concertina journal, so I'll try to put that up maybe tomorrow. I have an eye appointment, and since my husband is blind, you know that I keep my eye appointments for sure. I don't have any issues that I'm aware of. His blindness came from glaucoma, which he's had for years. And his pressure just keeps dropping until there'll be nothing left. So, be thankful for what we do have, I always say. I like to open the handles up. Some people just leave them, but if I can. That'll work. My puppy didn't like it when I came home and he smelled kitties on me. He was not real happy. Ugh, and they shed. He doesn't shed, so I wasn't used to all that. All right, so let's get this mess off here. So what was you going to do is layer them. I'm going to use the same elements I have out on my desk. Um, I have some pop dots because I like the 3D effect of them sticking up. Okay. So we'll take one of these bigger ones. They have a nice pattern on them. And... Um, I think this one would look lovely on there because it's got that color in there. Um, yeah, I should put a little something, but I don't want to cover that. So maybe we'll just put our uh, paper, our uh, sequin stuff. See, I like that. And I want to incorporate a uh, spoon. And I just made these smaller. Okay. And um, maybe just a butterfly. It could be that simple. Now, do I want to make the butterfly um, part of the tea bag? Let's see, we've got blue, teal. What color? We've got this color. Uh, we've got this color. I guess that's okay. So let's... Um, Take a piece of a string, and I just 
put it behind my butterfly with some double-sided tape. I don't have any um, cellophane or scotch tape available. So I'm just going to put this on here with the string hanging from the top. And then this will have a pop dot on it and go here. And the other piece will go in the back. So it's just sort of hanging here. Okay, and I just like it a little bit loose. So we'll just put a piece of double-sided tape back here as well. Okay. So that's that. And then let's get a um, pop dot. Or two. And we'll just um, put this back here. Oops. This one didn't want to stay. Let's use a piece of this. I know this will stick. All right, so we have that. Yeah. I think it's not sticking because I've got that double sided tape down there. So just, um, I just want it like sitting on top of the teacup. Okay. So this will get glued here with some um, Fabri-Tac. And these are kind of thick, so this was from the Dollar Tree. And do I want to put um, the spoon on here? I think I do. So let's just let's just glue the spoon down here. I don't think I got any glue on that. So let's try that again. Nope. So let's get this straightened out here. There, there. So that'll go there, okay? And it's going to be pop, popped up on pop dots. So put a couple here, here. Here. And they're just so sweet. You can go in Happy Mail or in pockets or just in your journal. You can put a paper clip on them and just clip them on a page. Let's go sideways on that one. And we have some words here, and I'm using the black with the white letters. Uh, 
nothing like a friend and a cup of tea to make everything better, right? So let's put this up here. And um, I have some of my little hearts. Lots of hearts and a silver bulb pin. And let's just put this maybe on this side. I'm just weaving it inside the uh, doily edge here. Not pretty. So I think that's so pretty. All right, let's make um, one with this little cup here. So it's that color. Let's see. Um, That's going to be covered, so I'm not loving it. Oh, that's the wrong side, but that's cute. Find one that you like. And see if you want something on here. You don't have to have anything on here. give it a little oomph. So we're going to put this down here. This is really pretty with these little scallops. And that's going to go there. And then I want a piece of this curtain. I just like the way that looks probably hard for you guys to see on camera but it's very pretty and glittery and it comes like this okay it's called curtain curtain lining okay so that's going to go there so let's see how we want to build this up um, I think I want to put one of these gold sequins for this, this rib. So again, let's just take a piece of this string. I don't need that much. And I already have holes in these and things. And this should go in here one way or the other. Let's just say that off camera they went in nicely. <laughs> All right, so we need some double sided tape. Uh, I don't want to deal with glue or anything because I want it to hold. I know this will hold. All right, 
let's trim this off here. Trim this off here because we don't want to see it. Okay. So we want this here. This back here. Okay. So that and that. And a um, little pop dot here. goodness they're not very good and just kind of drape it over okay and this will take a couple of the pop dots One here and one here. Just a short, sweet project today. Using Natalia's stuff. Oh, excuse me. Put him off to the side and uh, let's uh, there's a bird there's two color birds there's blue I think I like the blue one on this one let's put the blue bird down here I don't know if we need a spoon on this one Oh, I guess it looks cute with a spoon on it. Let's put the spoon on it, too. Since I made them, we may as well use them, right? Okay, so this is going to go flat. Just off to the side here. And this... Um... This can get raised. Let's use a piece of this. This stuff works better than those little dots. Oops. I don't want this to show. Oops, I cut his little tail. Pardon me. Okay, that looks cute. And let's get some words. And it says, uh, challenge yourself. So have a cup. Oops. Uh, my paper is upside down, so if that bothers you, you can take your teacup off and turn it around. does not bother me. So there you have it. Just a few little beautiful uh, teacup clusters. This one has a butterfly. This one has a bird, a butterfly, and some sequins. So I hope you are inspired to um, create
create some pretty things uh, with some images and kits that you find. And um, be blessed and have a beautiful day. Bye now.